And as we continue to celebrate Black History Month across the nation, we're highlighting the rich history right here in St. Louis. Fox 2's Michaela McGee takes us to the old courthouse in downtown to see how history is coming to life there. Many people drive by the old courthouse in downtown St. Louis without knowing why the building has been preserved since its original construction in 1828. Every story that comes from this building and why it's a historically significant building is important uh, to, to carry forward to future generations. The most pivotal events here were the first two trials of Dred Scott in 1847. Dred Scott and his wife Harriet sued for their freedom. The case going all the way to the Supreme Court and eventually plunging the country into civil war. The old courthouse will undergo renovations later this year to create new exhibits highlighting the lives of black Americans living in St. Louis since its founding. The fact that that case and their uh, perseverance in going through 11 years worth of struggle to gain their freedom for themselves, but also really representing every enslaved individual in the country is just phenomenal that we're able to tell that story and this structure has been preserved for that reason. Lynn Jackson is the president of the Dred Scott Heritage Foundation and the great great granddaughter of Dred and Harriet Scott. When I was younger the only thing that was here that I could recognize was a picture in the front hall off of uh, Broadway and uh, now we're moving from a small gallery to a whole wing for him. These renovations are the final component of the $380 million City Arch River project. Jackson hopes these new exhibits will help others learn the significant role black Americans played in our city's history and make their stories known, respected, and passed down. Hopefully we will have an opportunity not only through the old courthouse but throughout the city in the near future to share stories of many other people who came through here whose lives were affected and affected others in our black history. It is something that we really need to do more of. Reporting, I'm Michaela McGee.